baby steps into a relationship with a narcissist who apologizes in private, why would I want to do that? Why would I settle for so little? An apology without ownership, without actually a change in behavior, well, it's just a word. I'm sorry, those are just words if there aren't actions to back them up. My mother painted me, a little girl, like, like a little girl, her little daughter as the family liar at the age of four so that she could get away with abusing me and exposing me to abuse in the most horrific ways that have taken me almost a lifetime to heal from. And I'm sorry and private should be good enough and considered a baby step? What kind of baby step is that? And look, I'm not offended at all. I'm, I'm really not. I'm not, I'm, I think this opens up a good dialogue because a lot of people think this way. I am not willing to settle for a relationship with anybody who doesn't treat me with love and respect and that I don't feel safety with, period. Like if I don't have those things, I don't want it because I treat myself with a tremendous amount of love and respect and safety. And that's my bar. And I think we should all have one, by the way. And having a relationship with my mother, because I, I'm, I'm gonna include your other um, comments on this video. It doesn't sound like that relationship is healed, but it sounds like you have a relationship with the rest of the family that you have some sort of value with. And that's awesome for you. For me personally, the fact that not only has my family never stood with me, they came out against me when I was pulling my children away from my grandfather, who's a pedo, to protect her. <laughs> like, there's no value there for me. I rather, and I am, be alone in the world, alone in the world without that family. I have my children, I have my grandchildren, I have friends who are my family. I rather be in that circumstance than settle for relationships that I don't feel wholly loved, valued, and safe in. That, that's just my preference. Other people can navigate these relationships in lower contact ways or you know, in ways where they do have people in their family that they value, and I respect that. And I meet people where they are, for sure. So there's no hate here. There's no, I'm like judging you for what you're doing. Your situation may not be quite like my situation and likely isn't because no two situations are identical. I'm a therapist that works with survivors from narcissistic family systems. I have clients in full-on relationships. I have clients who are in low contact relationships. I have clients who are in no contact relationships and whatever works for them and allows them to continue to heal and grow and, and be safe in the world, then that is awesome. I would have preferred to walk away with family members if I had anybody that could have been a safe, loving person in my life. I absolutely would have preferred that. That's not how it shook out because my mother will never own what she did and she will never make things right and because my family stands with her. That's where it's at.